This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. On this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to a non-native and invasive species found very commonly in Indiana, and that is white mulberry. White mulberry was brought here both for fruit production, but also as a potential feedstock for silkworms, but that venture really didn't ever work out. It's since spread across the landscape because this, the fruit are highly favored by birds who eat the seeds that are somewhat resembling of blackberries and scatter the seeds across the landscape. White mulberry has alternate leaf arrangement, simple leaves, and the leaves are variable. And so we may have some leaves that have no lobes. We'll have other leaves that have multiple lobes. And so we see quite a bit of variation, very much like sassafras. Also, you'll notice the surface of the leaves are quite shiny. This is a very good characteristic to separate this mulberry from our native mulberry, which is red mulberry. Similar in other characteristics, but red mulberry has larger leaves that are dull and sandpapery on top. Both these species produce fruit, oftentimes in abundance, that very much resembles a blackberry and are relished by birds and also edible by humans. Another characteristic of both the mulberries is heavy ridged flaking platy bark and oftentimes with a little bit of a hint of orange to the bark as well. And these species can become fairly large, although have a tendency not to be very tall but tend to be more spreading. So they can be an important bird food, but in the case of white mulberry it has actually become much more common than our red mulberry because of its spread around the countryside through birds and its ability to populate fence rows, hedgerows, and other waste areas. Our red mulberry has a tendency to be found primarily in forest understories.